Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at one of the very few D cell lights that we stock, the Phoenix TK60. You might have already seen this in the flashlight comparison that we did last month, but uh, this is going to be a more in depth review of it, showing you the different modes and all that fun stuff. Alright, so instruction, warranty information. This piece right here is an extender. We're not going to use that because this will make it be able to use four D cells, and I only remember to bring three home, so we're just going to use three. But this is an extender that attaches uh, on the light if you want to be able to add an extra cell. It attaches between the head and the body, so right in here. You have a shoulder strap in there, a little lanyard, and some spare O rings, standard accessory kind of stuff. Here's the light itself. Just take that to the side and show you the light. So you can see, this is actually a pretty big light. Uh, it's got a decent length on it. Three D cells. I mean, you can see how big a D cell battery is. These are the, the Rayovac um, low self discharge nickel metal hydrides that we sell. And just a single one of those, you can see, is a pretty beefy battery. So three of those makes a pretty big light. You can have the same head on here that you see on the, uh, on the TK41. So you have the dual switch with that reflector and XML LED down in there. And then on the back, there's no switch or anything, just the two switches up here on the head. But you do have the lanyard attachment points down here on the tail if you want to attach a lanyard or that strap. So to get the batteries in there, you can detach it either up here at the head or down at the tail if you prefer. But I already did the head, so we're going to use that one. So we've got three D-cell batteries. I'm going to go ahead and slide those in. Two, three, stick the head back on, and we'll show you the interface. Now, actually, real quick, one thing I wanted to show you is something that Phoenix has been doing with their lights for the past couple of years. They've been putting not quite uh, square threads, but they are trapezoidal um, from what I've seen, which is really nice because they seal really well, they wear really well, they're nice threads, and I, I really like it when companies do that. So, I wanted to point those out. All right, so let's go ahead and put the head back on. Okay, so for the interface of the TK60, you have the two switches up here. There's no momentary, so if you're looking for a tactical style light, this is definitely not it. But if you're looking for a replacement for a 3 or 4D mag light, you like that big heavy feel, this is definitely a good light to look at. So two switches, one on the right, one on the left. The one on the right, hit it and it'll turn the light on. And then the one on the left will cycle between your different outputs. So you can see you have four outputs to choose between. Highest is obviously going to give you the highest output, but the shortest battery life. You can drop it down to the lower one if you want better battery life, lower output, more up close kind of stuff. Now you also have some flashing modes in here. The power button, if you double click it, that's how you get into your flashing modes. And then the cycle mode, the secondary left button, will actually still do the same thing. It'll switch between the two different modes in the flashing modes. So you have that, uh, that strobe and then it'll flash SOS. You can cycle between those two. Now when you turn the light off, turn it back on, it's going to remember the last output that you had it in, not the last flashing mode. So whatever output you turned it off in, that's what it's going to turn back on in. It will not remember strobe or SOS if you had it in there. But if you go back into the flashing modes, whatever flashing mode you had it in last, it will remember that when you go back into that mode group. Alright, so the right switch turns it on, turns it off, left switch, cycles between, and then double click the right switch to go into your flashing modes, and then still cycle with the left switch. Here's a closer look at the details of the light. You can see excellent anodizing and machining, just like everything that Phoenix makes. Nice engraving on the laser engraving. It does get hot, so heed the warning. <laughs> you can see the different details of the light. Nice grippy center part of it. Alright, so that's the light, that's the interface. We're going to go ahead and take this outside and we'll show you how it does outside. Alright, we're outside with the TK60. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use. It's like they're cousins, but uh, TK60 is from the nicer neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, let's try the uh, mag light out first. See how it does. There's that little bush, 15 feet tree out there at 100 feet little bug flying around. Okay, let's try out the TK60. There you can see how much more light is coming out of that. 
and that wasn't even on high. We'll cycle through the different outputs real quick. But on your max output, you can see how much more light is coming out of that, even though it's using still D cells and only three instead of the four that are in the uh, that are in the mag light. But a whole lot of light coming out of that. 15 feet, obviously no problem. 100 feet, obviously no problem. And in just a second, we'll show you some more distances. But just wanted to shine it at the ground, just so you can see that the lower outputs are actually enough. Obviously 15 feet is no problem, but the ground in front of you is great for lighting up for uh, walking around at night when you don't want to use the extra battery power that the higher output modes consume. So there you go, that's the TK60 at short and medium range distances. Let's go ahead and try out a longer distance. Okay, we have more of a distance now for the TK60, so let's go ahead and try it out. In just a second, we're going to try out the mag light first. There's 50 yards, my house does okay. Tree in the front yard, 100 yards, doesn't really do anything. TK60, 50 yards, no problem. 100 yards, still no problem. <laughs> so you can see, even beyond 100 yards, this one would do just fine. Uh, it lights up everything extremely well at 100 yards. You can see the top of that tree lit up really, really well. You can see all the details. You can see a pretty good spill around here as well. Shine it around a little bit so you can see how it does. Different colors and distances and stuff. But there you go. That's the Phoenix TK60 powered by either three or four D cell batteries with that XML LED. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of flashlight videos.